Greetings from the Fredericktown Homestead. Sitting on the wall. I just got another scoop. Nine out of ten. Unfortunately, about uh, ninety percent of this last scoop was pine. Can't be burned in the stove. Uh, unfortunate. Real disappointing. But you know, all this is pine, except for just a few long pieces that I put there before I put the pine. But most of them just putting pine there, and then all these light-colored ones on top here. They're all pine. A lot of pine. Bah. Yeah, not firewood. I was thinking uh, for the pine, I got that stack over there, and all this, and all of this, and I'm probably going to get more in the next scoop. But I'll sort it out. And I was thinking, why not make a raised bed out of uh, the pine? Stack up a enclosure maybe be creative about it uh, but use pine to stack up pine's not firewood the, the only way you could call it firewood is if you put it in a heap out in the yard and lit it on fire got it hot enough so it would burn and burn it up but you can't burn it in the stove and I've got uh, I got a lot of it here. I got a whole lot of it here. You see the pitch? See the pitch on the end of that log? Uh, that's pine. That's uh, pine has a pitchy layer, and uh, that pitchy layer is just plum stack full of pitch. It's the uh, growing layer of the tree. Just underneath the cambium layer is the pitch layer, and uh, that's where the sap flows. And it's generally about between 15 and less than 20 percent of the wood is sap wood. And uh, if you could burn pine without the sap wood, it has very little heat value, but less of a danger for uh, creosote. But that sapwood just, uh, it, you make a lot of creosote, I mean a whole lot. Too much to make it worthwhile. Look at all this pine I got. Pine, pine, pine. Well that, that piece right there, that's hickory. Uh, but that's pine, 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 pine. And uh, then we get into the older stuff here. That was on the first load, but... They must have cut a jag of pine up there at the mill, and this was what was in the way of the firewood, and he just scoops it up. Can't blame him. But uh, use it for boundaries around the raised bed. Well, either that or, uh, like I say, just pile it up and burn it. A pile out here somewhere. Some night. I got a bunch of sticks and branches out there in the back there. I went to cut up the long pieces here. On the bottom, underneath, well, I guess this end here is all long pieces and uh, they're hardwood. But I went to start my saw that had just come back from the saw shop. Uh, I saw it from the 90s. Uh, 94, I think it is, that saw, 1994 saw, so it's, uh, getting some years on it, but, uh, I took it to the saw shop, and they sent, sent it back saying it's good, and I paid the bill on it, so I was just on my way back down to the saw shop to have them do whatever they needed to do to make it start, because I couldn't start it, and, uh, 
I took the air filter off and everything. I couldn't get it to start. So, uh, but I, on the way down there, I passed the, the mill and he was loading. He just had this load on his bucket. And uh, I saw a few pieces of pine on top and I had him take those off. But I didn't realize it was mostly pine. So I came back here and I hooked the long pieces that I had stacked right here in the front, right out of the way over there. <coughs> and uh, I still don't have a running saw. I still got to go down there, but yeah. Not so good. Pine, pine, pine. What do you do with pine? Stack it up and burn it. Make a fire ring and burn some other stuff in the middle of the fire ring and eventually the pine will go away. Yeah. Bear and his cat. She cat would rather not play. Well, I was just showing you what I got done. I I got some more stacked up, but uh, this is kind of throwing a wrench in the works here. All this pine going away. Uh, so much pine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what homesteading is. It don't go steady. It's just all peaches and roses and what do they call it? Rainbow farts or something. Uh, yeah, you run into your obstacles and pine's one of them. You don't expect it from Ohio sawmill because they burn. They saw 99% hardwood. But I got that 1% in one bucket. Bah. Yeah, if you want to be a part of the homestead, there's a position here available. Uh, contact me, jbthemilker at gmail.com. This too shall pass. We'll figure out something to do with the pine. Well, I'm not sure it'll pass. It's this lack of somebody to homestead here. I thought somebody would jump at the opportunity to homestead, but so far, nobody. You may uh, email if you want to grow your own food in sustainable May. Uh, be a YouTube channel. I've, uh, oh, I'm sitting down. I've, uh, sort of committed myself to putting at least one YouTube post up per day for 100 days. And, uh, yeah, I've done it so far. I wonder if it's been over a month yet. I don't know. Anybody been keeping count? Any of you six people that watch my YouTube videos? My subscriber rate keeps... Oh, what's going on over there? Bear? My subscriber rate keeps going up. I've got uh, between 270 and 280 now. But... I still only get like half a dozen views per post. Uh, found that like button. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. That's what everybody says. But I just keep putting them out there. I, I think that um, someday I'll learn something by doing this. I got that long piece of oak right there. 
Wish I had a saw, I could cut it all up. That one might go through the planer, I'm thinking. I don't know. Dress them all up in the planer. It's all green. Like green, green, green. Uh, you know, some of the YouTube channels, most of them that deal with wood, talk about the log ox and how neat that is. I, uh, I'm old school. I use a picaroon. It used to be that this was a wooden handle and with a pick on it. And uh, that's the way I handle wood. You see this uh, piece right here, pine. I just slap it like that and I put it over here. So that's the way I. Uh, I use a picaroon. I think those log oxes that uh, grab onto a piece of wood with like they're a hand. Um, I much prefer the picaroon. PV Manufacturing up in Maine makes them and uh, their flaw was that the head on them would uh, come off after a while. And I had them put two rivets in the head. Uh, two rivets that it, it, it went around the wooden handle and uh, it would eventually come off with one rivet so I had two rivets put in and they lasted pretty long uh, I've had probably I bet I've had 20 different pick rooms over the years of course I've been around and dealing with wood longer than most of you have been around. I was born in 1951. That dog and that cat, I always wonder if the cat's going to end up dead someday, but maybe the dog will be the one that suffers. I don't know. The cat seems to like it. They like it, let them do it. I sometimes separate them, but... They're fun to watch. Bear! Bear! He's a big boy to be playing with cats like that, but the cats seem to take it alright. She cat, she stays out of it. <laughs> Yeah, if you'd like to be a part of the Fredericktown Homestead, there is a position available here for somebody. Raise their own animals, raise their own produce, raise their own food, and be their own boss. Uh, you could conceivably maybe work an outside job while you're here. But I don't think that's necessary. I think you can get enough income by just uh, puttering in the shop and selling extra, whatever extra we got here. Um, you know, if you could sell pine, we could rack up pretty good money here selling pine. But... Uh, I'm wondering how pine will take a brand. I've been messing around with a brand some today, and I noticed that the pop of a softer wood does the best. I wonder if I planed up some pine, how, uh, I see these three sticks right here. One, two, three. They're all near four. They're all narrow enough to go through the planer. I could plane them up green. Uh, maybe I just plane one up and see how that does with the brand. Yeah, the brand's fun to play with. Uh, yeah, if you want to be a part of the Fredericktown Homestead, give me an email. jbthemilker at gmail.com. jbthemilker. jb, that's my name. The, T-H-E. Is that a preposition or a, what is that? jbthemilker. 
like I milk cows. And uh, at gmail.com. And I'll answer your email. In amongst stacking wood. Alright, I just uh, came on now to show you the dog and the cat playing, but, uh, and uh, pine situation. I think I'll label this one pine, with an exclamation point. Pine firewood. Bah. So it goes. Alright. God bless.